So this right here is a standard grip. Chances are your bike probably has one of these or something similar to it. Some companies have even started making larger grips for people who have larger hands. As you can see, the one here is a little bit longer, a little bit thicker, and overall conforms to a bigger hand a little bit better. But what do you do if you need something bigger than these? Like, way bigger. For example, this is my hand compared to an average sized person's hand. As you can tell, it's a little bit bigger. Luckily for me, I may have actually found a solution. Introducing the Mega Grip. So this thing's obviously very, very large, and to be fully honest, it's it's not really meant for bikes. It's probably a drink koozie, so you can put like soda and beer and stuff in here, but no worries because we're gonna repurpose this thing, put it on a bike and see how it works. But almost immediately, there was a big problem. So there's a major flaw with this whole plan. As you can see, the diameter of the bar is like that, and the diameter of the grip is that. It's not gonna work. I mean, literally, it just, it's just not gonna stick. Even if there was some way to successfully mount this onto the bar, you'd still have an even bigger problem, which is that now the brake won't work because it's getting jammed up by the grip. So what am I gonna do? However, since I am a genius, I came up with a solution almost instantly. What I've done is I have these old grips and what I'm gonna do is shove them inside of here because the inside of here is about the same diameter as about three grips. I'm gonna place that in there just nice and gently there. And I'm gonna shove this one in here just like that. That's pretty good right there. So now in theory, this should actually kind of work. Slip that thing on there. Now the genius part about having the three grips in there is that it's slightly offset. So I can bring it forward, back, up, down, whatever. It's This is perfect. It's like a modular grip design. This is genius. I actually should patent this stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful, isn't it? With something this exquisite and tasteful, I was so excited to get out and finally test it. All right, so the first test we're gonna do is start off kind of easy and we're gonna do this obstacle course here. It's got just enough stuff to give me a good idea how these grips work. Then we're gonna go off to some of the bigger stuff. Cedar totter! Oh, into the rock section right here. Oh, going up to this teeter totter. Coming into these super dangerous skinnies right here. Really critical I don't fall off. This final drop right here. Oh. These things are awesome. They're Totally safe. No, nothing dangerous about this even remotely. Two nice features actually. It's really nice. I've got suspension, so that that is good. And I've got the ability to break with my middle finger, because as we know, the middle finger is a lot stronger than the index finger. And that's good because even if I was using my index finger, you can see that I can't actually it barely reach the brakes. So it's not efficient. So my middle finger, perfect length, boom, right there. I mean, I think this is absolutely genius in in, in, every, in every way, it's absolutely genius. Clearly the obstacle course test was a massive success, but now it was time to try the downhill course. Here, I was a little bit nervous. No, no, I'm, I'm definitely not nervous for this, even remotely. This is gonna be, this is gonna be easy. This is, this is fine. All right, let's, let's do it, let's do it. Here we go, first corner, looking good so far. Okay, oh, oh. amazing so far. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, coming to the first jump section. Oh. 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 First corner. Oh. 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 Oh god, over the berm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Couple pros and cons. First pro, they're big. My hands fit around them pretty well. First con, jumping, difficult. Second con, cornering, difficult. Third con, straight lines, difficult. Fourth con, overall comfort, not very good. But nonetheless, this is still a genius idea. It's still, it's still a genius idea. I know it's a good idea. This is definitely a good idea. With another, quite frankly, easy success on the downhill course, it was time to move on to the last challenge. This one, I was looking forward to. 
All right, now for the final test. We got the jumps. And honestly, I'm pretty good at jumps. I love jumping. It's my thing that I do all the time. So I'm gonna jump straight into the black diamond line. I hit it on a regular basis. Should be no problem on this. This should be really, really easy. Really, really easy. Now, yeah, let's just jump into it straight up. Let's just go. Oh no, I think he crashed. Oh, oh yeah, he did. Dude, are you right? Oh, oh you, dude, one of the grips right fell here? off. One of the, oh, that hurts so bad. Oh no. Oh man, that was such right? a bad idea. Do you need help? Yeah, oh, yeah, care, let me, let me help, help you up. Help yeah, me up. Yeah. Oh, 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 why? That was such a dumb idea. Yeah, why did we I don't do know that? why we did that. Oh man, oh, I think I might have broken my arm. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Okay, no more videos like this. Oh, oh, I can barely breathe. Oh.